Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a little bit of a different kind of reading vlog. So essentially what I've done is I've put up polls for two different options for a lot of different things on my Twitter. And essentially what I'm gonna do is you guys are going to control my weekend. Um, so I've done a couple of different options and I'm actually going to chapters right now. So um, the first option is which drink I should get. I do believe that salted caramel mocha is winning right now, but it could be possible that um, that's not the case because I haven't checked in a couple minutes. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, see when we get there. most beautiful book I've ever seen. Holy shit. Wow. I have no desire to read this book, but I want to own it now. It's so pretty. It's a lot more turquoise in color. It looks very blue on the camera, but it's very turquoise. I am so tempted to buy this, but it is $36. Ugh. So these were the two poll options, but this is 30% off, so I also think I might get this as well. Hello! So it's a couple of hours later, it's like around about 8 o'clock, and I just got home from chapters. So the poll that I conducted had you choose between two books um, and I put emojis down for them because I didn't really want to like sway the opinions too much. So the first poll that I had was choose between two books that I wanted to buy. So the first option was Foolish Hearts and then the second option was The Marrow Thieves, which one? Um, so I got that one. I was going to get both of them but then I just decided to get one and just have it done. Um, so this is the Marathies by Cherry Dimaline, and this is a First Nations Own Voices story. So essentially the um, story says, in a world nearly destroyed by global warming, the indigenous people of North America are being hunted for their bone marrow, which carries the key to recovering something the rest of the population has lost, the ability to dream. Frenchie and his companions, struggling to survive, don't yet know that one of them holds the secret to defeating the Marathies. Thieves. Um, I am very, very excited to read this. Um, it's been on my TBR for so long and I'm so glad that I finally picked it up. I'm probably going to read this next month and yeah. So the other poll that I had you vote on was between two books. So the first option was Frankly in Love and then the second option, Once in Future, which won. And so I started reading that one instead of continuing on with Frankly in Love. And um, I'm on page 25 of this right now. I only read a little bit because I was getting distracted. Some people in chapters are like very, very loud, but I really like this. Um, Ari is a sweetheart. She's the main character and I do believe the descendant of Arthur. So this is just essentially a story about the reincarnation of King Arthur. And it's set in like a very, very dystopian futuristic world. And it's sci-fi slash fantasy, which is like my favorite combination. And my friends haven't loved this book, but I have been told that I'm gonna really, really love this one. So hopefully it lives up to its name. Um, but yeah, those are some of the polls that I did and then obviously the salted caramel mocha one. So I got an iced salted caramel mocha. Delicious. If you haven't had like an iced one before, you should definitely try it with non-fat milk because it gets like so deliciously rich and chocolatey. Like it's just, mm. <sighs> It's the perfect drink. Okay, so the next poll was to choose my dinner. It was between a burrito and a sandwich, and I got a burrito from Mucho Burrito. I think it's Canadian. Um, but I'm scared because this is gigantic. Like, look at it in comparison to my hand. Ginormous. But um, I'm very excited. I think it's gonna be yummy. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go eat that now. Okay, so 
hello. The last poll that I decided to make was a bath bomb poll. And the two options were Monster's Ball and Lord of Misrule. Monster's Ball won by quite a lot, which is sad because Lord of Misrule is one of my favorite bath bombs, but I haven't actually tried this one. So we're gonna try it, it's super cute. I think it's got like a little bath melt on the inside too. And it's pink, which is one of my favorite colors. Good morning, friends. So I am going to start off the day completely with a new poll. So the first poll that I had put up that you all voted on was which tea I should have in the morning. So the first option was pumpkin chai. This is my favorite tea, it's black tea. It's from David's Tea and it's like the best pumpkin tea that I've ever had. And then the second option was this ice wine tea, which I also really like, it's very sweet, but Pumpkin chai one, which I'm not surprised about. Um, so yeah, I am going to make this and have my cup of tea and maybe do some reading. I want to get a little bit further in once in future, so I'm gonna do that whilst having my cup of tea. It's been a little bit of a hectic morning, I guess. I've been trying to like get stuff done and like editing and all of that. Um, but I did run a couple of polls today. So obviously you saw the tea poll earlier on. I sat down and I read some more of Once in Future while I was drinking it and I'm still really loving this. I'm not quite sure like where it's going but I still really love it. Um, Ari is so far my favorite character. I love her. And then Lamarack, I also am really intrigued about. They seem like a really cool character. So I'm interested to see how I like this and if I'm going to find out more of what's going on or if it's just gonna be this one huge question mark like I'm feeling right now. So I ran kind of an impromptu poll that um, I'm happy that it turned out the way it did. So my boyfriend was going out and he asked me if I wanted anything and I was like, oh, I really want bubble tea. So I asked you guys which bubble tea I should get, the brown sugar or the taro, which is what I usually get. And the brown sugar one, I have almost drank all of this. It is so delicious and just, Mm, it's so good. So I've just been kind of like sitting down and doing that. But I am onto my next poll, which had you guys choose between two graphic novels. So the two options were Space Boy and The Witch Boy. The Witch Boy one, which I knew it would because it has witch as like an emoji and people usually go for like the spooky ones. So I am actually very happy that this one because I've had this on my shelf for a long time. So this is a middle grade graphic novel series where our main character doesn't want to learn the shape-shifting magic that is very specific to boys in this world. And so he starts learning from the girls and learning the girls magic. And one of his friends actually goes disappearing what the fuck? One of his friends goes missing. <laughs> 
um, and he has to use his magic in order to find them. And so I'm hoping that there's some queer rep in here, but I also don't know. So we'll see. I'm gonna start this and I will update you when I'm done with it to let you know my thoughts. Actually, let's, let's get a couple more books here. So it's like a couple hours later and I finished The Witch Boy. I gave it a five out of five stars. It was so good. So I really, really liked how the graphic novel was for children. It's a middle grade novel, but it also is both lighthearted and not and still manages to illustrate the consequences of one's actions, especially when it comes to like the patriarchy and toxic masculinity and gender roles and stuff like that. And it had like a really, really solid resolution at the end but it also has the chance to grow and I do believe that this has three in the series so far. Um, I really wish that I had the second volume because I really enjoyed it. Like I flew through it within like an hour and I've just kind of been like pitter-pattering around the internet since. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, if you're looking for like a really, really good graphic novel that is going to be quick to read and is going to be thought-provoking, I would definitely recommend it. Um, we are going to get on to the next poll. Um, where did I put those books? The next poll was which audiobook I should start. I was going to start an audiobook and walk, but it's kind of getting a bit late and it's kind of dark, so I'm just going to sit here and listen to the audiobook. Okay, so I'm honestly just like too tired to get up right now, so I'm not going to, but the next poll was to pick the next audiobook that I was going to start. So it was between Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin or Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Murr and this is the one that won which I was actually surprised about because before I went to bed Serpent and Dove was winning but this one won so I'm going to start this. I am buddy reading this with Sarah from String Bean Books. I'll leave her channel here and down below and I am very excited to start this so we're gonna read like the first couple of chapters and then see how we get on. So this isn't the most flattering um, angle, but I just wanted to actually close out the vlog because I didn't do that yesterday. I was way too tired to do it. Um, but I did read 50 pages of Getting the Ninth. Um, the audiobook is fantastic. I didn't realize, but it's my favorite audiobook narrator. Um, she narrated one of the characters in A Fire and Stars. I think her name is Saskia. And I'm just so stoked to continue on with this book because it is literally like making me laugh out loud. It's so good. But that's essentially it for this vlog. Um, I was just doing like a Twitter controls my weekend thing and it's now Monday and I have to go back to school tomorrow. So that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want me to do more of these, let me know down in the comments because I think that it would be a fun little way to kind of like do a vlog that's not completely controlled by me. I thought that it was really fun and made for an interesting time. So yeah, as always, all of my social media links will be down in the description box below if you'd like to follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Goodreads. Um, as always, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!